Welcome back to On A Budget. Today we are going to be doing our second episode of Budgeting for Beginners in 2023. If you haven't seen the first episode, go give it a quick watch as it basically just explains how to work out your disposable income. Today we're going to be talking about how we organise our disposable income. All of my disposable income is going to be budgeted through a budgeting book and I think this is going to be absolutely great for holding yourself accountable, making sure you're spending the right amount of money on the right things. 2023 is going to be hard. Cost of living crisis is still going on and it's really, really important this year to make sure that you are spending your money wisely. I decided to write out all the things that I knew would be important to me. Yours may obviously look different to mine uh, depending on what you use your disposable income for. For example, we've got birthdays, cinema and eating out. These are two things that I do fairly frequently. I put £15 in there because I know that's exactly how much I need for a bottomless brunch. Entertainment I haven't put anything in there. Retail therapy, we've just had Christmas so I don't really feel like I'm going to need to be buying a whole lot of stuff. Holiday and travel, I've got a holiday coming up in May which is a few months away but I really want to put some money aside beforehand because before you know it, it will be here and I'll have no spending money. So I got to the end and realised I had a little bit of money left over that I didn't really feel I needed to put in any of the pockets. So I put in a new savings pocket and I just put the extra money in there. And then that's also really handy because if you've got any money left over at the end of the month, maybe that you didn't end up spending and you thought you would, you can just pop it in the savings at the bag and you will build up your savings. So this is how I'm going to be tracking my money in 2023. Let me know what you think. Is this something that you would consider or are you not a fan of cash? You want to stick to doing everything on card? What do you think? Let us know down in the comments and make sure you're following us for more on a budget content.